Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode nine in our series two for production line. Um, and even though it looks like our production line is working, it is in fact still in a mess because we're in the middle of a very major renovation, um, which we started um, in our last episode and needed to continue over two episodes. So just just pausing this for a second, a cunning and devious plan has come to mind. <clears throat> whereby I think what I will do is I will get the production line running while we are doing this. I'll put the last two of the paint uh, stations on pause that we had set up and I will turn on this guy here, turn you on, uh, so that we can actually produce some vehicles. And then, because I'm going to be doing some reworking up here, um, with very serious reworking with the fit engine and a whole pile of stuff in the steering and the wheel assembly, which we're going to put in in this turn, I'm going to do a quick bypass and uh, run this over here so that we can still be manufacturing cars uh, even while we are, we are building new things. A cunning and devious plan, you said, and you would be right. So um, I want space, so we're going to move it over here. And even though they're going to have to travel a wee way to get there, I think if we'd... I think we need the space... Uh, to be able to put in, oh, uh, that's oh, that's great. No, no, that's excellent. We want that because that's part of what we're going to do as soon as we get our line up and running again. Um, is we'll be looking at doing that. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the line is running and it still hasn't got to the end of the paint. Oh, no, no, it has. Now yeah, it has. Look at that. It's got a queue up there. I see how this is going to work. Oh, maybe it's not going to work that well. Hmm. We may have to put some work into this, but I'm not quite... Let's just pause this for a second, because we're already filled up. So what we're going to do down the bottom is spend a bit of money and um, do this. So we do want as much space as we can get. So we're going to do this, like so, and then we're going to bring this one all the way down here, like so, and then we're going to come up here, and uh, basically do this. Now, is that is that the first one? Hang on, I've got myself I've got myself lost now. Ah, uh, no, we have to go inside there, don't we? All right, hold on. Everyone, just remain calm. There will be a moment's delay while we sort this out. But I know you're all very keen on what we're doing here today. So, let's do that. <clears throat> ah, that's almost perfection in motion. So we can turn you on. And we can turn you on. And we can start the game. And we will actually be in production in full production. Now, I wonder if I can, I'd like to experiment because I would like to divide this in half actually. Let's just pause this for a second. I, hang on, game, pause please. Thank you very much, yes, nice. Now, 
We have smart junctions. Smart junction right. What does this mean? Uh, let's try it. $35,000? Holy freaking dooly. Oh, look at you. This window lets you configure your smart T-junction. The complete list of car designs is in the center. By clicking to move designs to each column, you decide which car design should take each exit. Any vehicle in the middle window has no preference and can go through either exit. Oh, really? What if it's not design mode? based on their design. Well, I mean, we could literally divide this in half, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So what if we send three to the right? So who would you send? That's my question. Well, I would send the budget, the compact budget, no, stop it, the compact budget, the mid-range. Actually, you know what? What if we sent the compact down one side? How about that? Okay. We just spent 35... Actually, if we delete this, how much will we get? It doesn't say. Okay, well... Hmm. We've just caused a bottleneck. Um, which we may not want to have there for the minute. So let's just... Pause you. I think we just need to clear out this bottleneck because that's not good. Oh, well, look at you. It seems to be working. Um, bottleneck, though. Now, isn't that interesting? There's a bottleneck there. What's that? That's four minutes and 15 seconds, and this one is 14 minutes. Oh, well, that's going to be a problem anyway, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. We'll come back on that one and we'll have a look. In the meantime, though, we need to be getting on with the Fit Engine, which is our challenge at the moment. And Fit Engine starts off with the Fit Powertrain. Now... The fit engine is 22 minutes long. And in our previous video, we discovered that we get... No, actually, you know what? Let's double check that because I'm not comfortable with that number. The, the issue is we get two cars every 13 minutes and 11 seconds. That... Oh, we got the small van. Oh, well done us. Okay, we've got some work to do later on. Um, let's pause this for a second. Now, the small van, uh, the small van, each chassis assembly takes 13 minutes and 11 seconds. And we know that that happens to be 791 seconds. So 791 seconds for two cars. So we divide that by two and we get 300, and let's make it 96. 396 seconds. Actually, let's make it five. Yep, let's make it five per car. So if we're looking at an engine, which is not that, but an engine, 
which is going to take 22 minutes and 54 seconds. 22 minutes, 22 times 60 plus 24, no, 54, 1,374 divided by 395 we need five we need four runs wow <clears throat> and four runs in the engine is actually divided into one two three four five we might actually only need one of these <coughs> one of these runs <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put one run in <clears throat> because we're clever like that. And we're going to run it up this way. And we start with the fit powertrain. And that uh, now, actually, you know what? Let's buy blueprints. No, let's not buy blueprints. No, stop that. Let's, let's do this. Let's put the fit power train in and, and then we'll see how we go space wise one and then come down one two okay then we fit the radiator now see this is where we're going to start making some interesting stuff because we're going to manufacture a power train but only after we get this up and running so this is going to be quite exciting. So it's going to be one, two. One, two. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's the fit radiator. Then we have the fit exhaust. One, two. Then we get to the wheel assembly, and the wheel assembly has three components. This is where it starts getting interesting. Let's let's put you away. We did the fit radiator, and we did the fit exhaust. Yep. Now we're going to do the wheel assembly with first of all the brakes. One, two. Then the wheels. One, two. Then the tires. One, two. <coughs> then we go on to the fit steering assembly. Now we have a steering column. One, two. Um, now this is interesting because I don't know. Now where are fit accessories? And are fit accessories expanded? Yes, they are, and they are all over there. So we have what might loosely be regarded as some space. So I'm going to put the steering wheel in this direction to go straight into there, actually like this. Just moving that a tad so we get more more space. So the steering wheel up 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 fit steering wheel. What did I just do? Is that what I just did? Fit steering column. Oh 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 move move move. Fit steering column. There you go. So the steering assembly is broken into the steering column and the fit steering wheel. And there you have it. There you <coughs> There you have it, everyone. <coughs> it is a wonder to behold. Now, I'm quite comfortable with that setup, so we're going to buy these now. Eight hundred thousand. Oh, we should keep this running, by the way. 
<coughs> we need to be producing vehicles. Indeed we do. And then we need to run resources to them. Now, we can take this, and I think we should, to there, and just run it all the way up there, then across like so, and then up like that, and then that. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, and just so there's some help for everybody, let's join them up. Okay, this is very good. Uh, oh, so what's happening here? Oh, you need to get going, guys, because we need to be producing cars. No route to resource. Oh, okay, sure. My bad. We can take care of that little problem right now. <clears throat> okay, good. Now we'll carry on down here because that's what we need to do. And you go all the way up there like so. Then you go all the way across there like that. And then we'll make it short as we can and get you onto there. Waiting for resources. Sure. Waiting for resources. Really? I thought we had everything. Well, we had a great plan, but it seems to have fallen in somewhat of a hole. Waiting for resources. Oh, it's on pause. Why is it on pause? Stop being on pause. Thank you. All right, that's better. Okay, now, this should actually be set up to work now, so we can carry on with this. And we do have a big backlog down here, but that's fine. We will get through this. So just to make sure that, what have we got? We've got 20 cars, the luxury, the expensive and the mid-range, but not the budget. The budget seemed to be selling quite well. So let's pause you guys for a minute and we'll half the throughput getting down to budget cars. And that should it... Did I not put you on pause? Yeah, I did. Okay. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Mm, get bottleneck. Hmm. You know what? I don't think that's going to work out particularly well. <coughs> that is okay. So we have cars that are being worked on. on their way to the sales yard. Now what's going on here? Electric windows. Ah, okay. What does this mean? Air conditioning is now a common feature. Holy dolly. And we are so falling behind. All right. So what we do need to do now is just go back and review our R&D because now we're into powertrain manufacture. So we've got some features that we can add to our vehicles in the luxury department. 
and we can also make small vans. So in Sedan Luxury, we can add cruise control, folding wing mirrors, and power steering. And the sunroof. So in the and what don't you have? Common features. So air conditioning is a common feature. Well, if air conditioning is a common feature, then we have to add it. Oh, hang on. No, before we do that. Um, where is air conditioning added? That's a good question, isn't it? Fit accessories? Aircon. Do I have aircon? Fit electronics. Fit dashboard. Fit aircon. I do. I do, I do, I do. So where is air conditioning? Power steering, leather interior, folding wing mirrors, central locking, air conditioning. Cool, air conditioning and the small van, which has nothing <clears throat> except a solid roof and air conditioning. Okay, so we're not doing anything with that at the moment. So what's this got to say for itself? Car designs, small van, in-car music, okay. Cool. All right. That's 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 all good. Okay. So now, then we wanted to do some other things. For example, in the fit steering wheel, we can buy power steering. And now I think. It was the wheels, no, the fit brakes. We can put in cruise control. Yes. Now that means that when we go to a cars, and especially in the luxury, we can add something. Cruise control. And central locking. Cruise control. It's included. Is that everything? So, that's what we got in the Lux. Now, in the expensive... What could we add to make it nicer for everybody? Um, cruise control is common. What's it worth though? Okay, well it's there. Folding wing mirrors is a folding wing mirrors. Did I put folding wing mirrors in? Folding wing mirrors. Yes, I did. So, shall we put folding wind mirrors in the ex... Now, $409. Let's see here. We want to add something. $700. 400 $700. $1,400. I like... I like the idea of central locking in 
the expensive model. <coughs> uh, makes the car more valuable. Increases its market share, blah, 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 we hope. Okay, that's it. We are kind of done. <coughs> now, we have been producing, but we have also got some issues. And this is an issue right here. This smart junction is not the bee's knees. So, it was a good idea, but it was the wrong place. So I think we'll just go back to the default one in, one out sort of thing. We'll eventually get this worked out. <clears throat> as we will eventually stop the coughing and the spluttering. So I think we could actually divert now and just come up here. Because um, we've got a bottleneck over there anyway. We're down to $700,000. So I think that's probably enough of that right now. And there you go. <clears throat> And pressing the wrong button always helps. It helps. There you go. Okay, fine. So far, so good. Now we just need to get the money situation back up. And we'll be fine. Eighteen cars in the showroom. Seven, three, seven. Luxury, mid-range, and expensive. Hmm. The compact vehicles are not there yet. So that's a compact, I think. And that's a compact. Aha! And the powertrain manufacturing is completed but what we need now is money um oh right suv body is being researched we should put one in after it actually um i think possibly the off-road and then we need to go to processes well, no, we did the we did that. We're manufacturing uh, the the powertrain, so we need to add now something more to our car. We could do the sat nav. Oh, look, we already have the components for that two thousand four hundred. Um, although. This is an easier one at 1,220. And we're all set for that, so let's do that. And then I think maybe slightly something more expensive. Now that's interesting, the Panasonic sunroof. What does that do? <clears throat> we can put it on the compact and the sedan. Well, we can put it on everything, basically. Sedan, the SUV, the compact or the off-road. But not the sports car. Hmm, maybe we should go for a safety feature. 2,400 versus heated wing mirrors. Heated seats. Oh, heated seats. That's got to be a pretty easy one. Okay. 
So the backlog here is still clearing, and the guys are coming through here. 665,000, huge drop in profit, huge in the red over there. We need to get this thing moving. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, look at the backlog there. Is this thing... What's wrong with this thing? Missing upgrade. Oh, what? Oh, that's where we didn't do it. By all folding wing mirrors. There you go. We did it now. I think... Uh, I think... I think we might want to hold off. Actually, you know what? I think we are held off. I think this thing is just producing... The budget vehicles. I think we need to back off for a minute and um, and just get this backlog cleared. Because it's a bit tricky. But you would have to say, so far it's going okay. I'm still holding on to these. $595,000. We are losing money. Yeah, we know about you. Still plummeting. And um, I don't know if you can hear this, guys, but there is a dog yapping in the background there somewhere. Hopefully the microphone's not that sensitive. I think it might be bad enough that I've got a shocking voice, let alone the fact that we've got a dog barking around in the background. Okay, so it looks very much <coughs> like we will be able to clear this backlog and get things going. Still got some issues around paint. We might need a third one. Not sure about this. The fit engine seems to be working out quite well, though. You just need to clear out this backlog and see how we end up. But we have 18 cars in the showroom. And what we are seeing is no compacts. Okay, so let's have a look. What does this say? Sign Sedan Lux. Why is it showing me the Sedan Lux? I don't know. <coughs> the mid range, the Lux, and then the expensive. Oh, we've still got mid range in there. Now, what's your problem? Defects. And uninstalled features. Defects. Uninstalled features. Central locking. Okay. Okay. While this is going on, let's just clean this up. This will give us back some finances which is going to help alleviate <clears throat> the issues that we have How much are you going to be worth? Forty-seven thousand dollars back. Forty-seven thousand. So we're back up to seven hundred thousand. Okay, fit steering wheel. 
Powered steering adjustment. Cool. Upgrade all slots. Yes. View research. Heated seats. Now, in terms of processes, <clears throat> what would we like to see happen? We are going to produce the powertrain. We could go and specialise. We could improve the drying. Now that could be interesting. I'm going to go with faster drying. <coughs> and I'm also going to do <coughs> um, no, not yet so we get faster drying Now, I think, ooh, look at that, keyless entry, we could do that, that's quite cheap actually, add the queue, so we'll get, we'll get a, a feature for the car, then we'll get a process, and then we'll get another feature. And we've done that, and we now have heated seats. So we're going to go to the luxury, and we're going to add heated seats. Uh, actually, we're going to add powered steering. Why doesn't luxury have powered steering? That's a bit of a worry. Why don't we have heated seats? Heater, leather, power steering, what? Where's heated seats? Air conditioning, auto steer, heater. That's interesting, where are heated seats? <coughs> Heated seats. Fit seats. Leather interior. Powered seats. Heated seats. Oh, heated seats. Kind of odd. Um, heated seats. That's the make powertrain. 794. Still losing money, but starting to bounce back now. This is encouraging, and we still have 18 cars in the showroom. Ah, surprisingly enough, we have a bottleneck. Oh, this may need to be adjusted. Five minutes. Five minutes. Is that going to look any good with 395 seconds per car? 5 times 60 equals 300. Yep, guess what? It's not enough. We need one more. And this is called the quality check. We have found a bottleneck. Uh, um, I think that's probably a better option. Um, actually, you know what? We've got the space. Let's let's do that. Uh, 
$837,000. And that should clear the bottleneck. 19 cars in there. <coughs> the sedan luxury is still the biggest one. How are we doing back here? We are clear the bottleneck, everyone. So just before, well, let's start up anyway, because we don't want to be missing out on producing cars. And then I think what we could do is go and have a look at making a small van. A small van, we really only want, we really want a budget version, don't we? Because quite frankly, that's, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get a $22,000 small van budget. No air conditioning. No cruise control. In-car music, for sure. And a solid roof. Oh, requirements. One servo, $60. Total cost, $60. Powered steering adjustment, really? Powered steering adjustment included. <coughs> hmm, okay. And then we're going to add small van budget right there. What have we got going on over here? Um... Um, I'm going to take you out of there. So we've got the sedan mid-range, the expenses and lux. Mm -hmm, okay. <coughs> Very exciting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is 40 minutes. We now have our production line back online and the money is going up. So we're going to leave this for a little while until the money gets up to where it really should be, i.e. we've got over a million dollars in the bank and then we're going to look at making our own powertrain and seeing what that does to our expenses um which are well we did a lot of capital investment i think we need to wait until we've got rid of this um yep upgrade all slots yes he did seating now, just before we go, because if I wait till the next episode, I will forget. Let's go to the luxury. Common, common, heater. Heated seats, very rare. Oh, let's add you. Yeah. Um, yep, we got everything in there. So we got all of that going on. <coughs> So in our next episode, the manufacture of our own powertrain, uh, provided we get up to and exceed um, $1 million. So I might just put this up for a little minute while we're doing the closing remarks and, um, and just let it earn a bit more cash as we go along. So once again, thank you very much for joining me today. Still apologizing for the coughing and the spluttering, but believe it or not, it is actually getting better. So um, the hope is that one day soon, there will be no more extensive edits to take out coughing, and you won't have to listen to the raspy voice of the sick grumpy. 
Until then, please stay well, everyone, and I'll look forward to seeing you once again at the Gig Channel. So for now, it's bye from him, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>